Hey Scrappers, Moose here again. Today we're going to scrap a CRT TV. It's one of those great big heavy glass tube ones. Um, it's going to be um, three things in there, three major parts that are the bulk of the value in there. You're going to have the, the power cable, of course, the copper yoke, and the degaussing cable. Uh, there may be other things in there as well, um, so we're not going to you know, just focus on those things, but those are your three primary um, pieces of value in there. Um, all right, so let's get started. All right, so first thing you're going to want to do is clip off the power cable. All right. Now, next thing we got to remove the casing. Um, I keep all the screws and everything together because what I do is I put the casing back on when I'm done and I bring it to Best Buy uh, where they can recycle for free uh, up to three TVs per day. Um, there uh, may be restrictions depending on what Best Buy is near you. All right, so here's the inside. We've got the degaussing cable, which is this thick black cable that goes around the glass tube. That's gonna be filled with either bright wire or sometimes aluminum wire. You just need to snip it in half to uh, figure out which one. Then you have the yoke, which is this part right here. You have the yoke, which is right here. This is fairly simple to take off. Some people like to uh, crack this off um, to get the yoke off. I just unscrew these things, it makes it easier for me. Um, I put the back, so the TV back on, so I'm not worried about hurting myself on this. Um, then we have a circuit board in here. It's gonna have some copper bearing motors, aluminum heat sinks, etc., and a bunch of wire. You also have some speakers. You also have some speakers on this one, right here, there's one on each side. You're gonna to wanna to save these as well, these magnets, you can sell them on eBay. Um, and make some extra cash there, much more than you would at a scrapyard. All right, so I'm gonna start clipping some wires here. Before you do that, you wanna make sure the TV hasn't been plugged in for a while. If it has been, you're gonna to need to ground it uh, to discharge any electricity that may still be in there, because um, you can zap yourself, all right? So for the yoke here, I'm just going to remove this screw little clamp here. This clamp is usually aluminum. <clears throat> Alright, so we take that off. Steel. Test it with a magnet. Yep, it's aluminum. Alright, so. Once that little, um, once that little clamp is off, you should be able to just twist it and pop it right off. And you can see right there all kinds of nice copper, copper on the outside as well. Some more copper up here, all right? And these are going to be very easy to uh, get the copper out of. I'll show you a trick in another video with that. And there's uh, Mike the Scrapper, um, Scrapper Girl, Jack Schmuck. They all have videos on how to do this very easily. Okay, so this is the circuit board that was inside the TV. Um, you're going to find right here, copper bearing motor. This little black box over here, if you crack that with a pair of pliers, you're going to find that there is uh, a little copper bearing motor in there as well. You need to crack a little bit. And you can see right there, nice little bit of copper. Um, we've also got Another copper bearing motor here. Got a little right here. And another little one here. There's some scattered, you know, here and there. Just need to, to get really close to it and take a look. Um, you're going to find uh, that a lot of these heat sinks, if you just take a magnet, you can check them. It's aluminum. All the way down here, it's aluminum. This is aluminum. So I'm just going to rip these all off with a pair of channel locks. Motor. Copper bearing. Copper bearing. Copper bearing. Copper bearing. Copper bearing. Got aluminum heat sink. 
aluminum heat sink. Big aluminum heat sink. So there we go, nice big piece of aluminum. You want to make sure you remove any little pieces of steel on there so the scrap yards don't uh, pay you less for what you have. It'll really come off really easy. There you go. There, one big clean piece of aluminum. This piece contains copper as well. Uh, some scrap yards will pay you copper bearing motor price for it, mine doesn't. Um, my scrap yard also doesn't take low grade boards, they don't take any circuit boards. So the rest of this for me is, is junk. Um, however, find out if your scrap yard will take it. Alright, so to wrap up, this is what we get out of an average TV. Uh, keep in mind you'll get different stuff out of you know every TV. Every TV is different. Um, you may get some, you may only get one speaker, some will have two. Um, the yokes may look a little bit different, but fundamentally the same, uh, as well as the amount of copper bearing motors, the aluminum heat sinks, the gauzing cable may be bigger or smaller, the amount of wire you get. So they're definitely worth scrapping. TVs are very easy to get. Uh, just hop on Craigslist and you should be able to find tons of people trying to get rid of them. Um, so there you have it. So uh, definitely worth scrapping. Uh, make sure you find a place to get rid of the tubes before you start scrapping them though. Um, if you live in a town where you only have one place to get rid of it and it costs 10 bucks per tube, uh, probably not worth doing for you. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to post a comment. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. See you all in the next one.